praise the Most High today, family. We say hallelujah and praise the Most High today. Hallelujah. Family, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in the Carolinas. Pardon me. I forgot about them women. <laughs> Somebody in the country and just riding any type of way trying to do a recording. Hallelujah, family. It's a great day. Thank the most high, family. He is so good to me. I'm so excited about the most high, family. So excited. And it's really hard to put in the words how excited or why I'm really excited. Yes, he's doing great things for me, but it's something that he's doing I'm not fully aware of that's got me very excited on the inside. Now you know the most high is up to something, but he doesn't clue you in all the way. That's where I'm at today. My Ruach knows what it is. Boy, he's excited. My spirit is excited. But nevertheless, I just thank him anyway, family. Ahead of time, before I even know what it is. For me and him got a good track. He got a good track record with me, family. I can say he's never let me down. Never. Never, ever, ever, never. Never and always have been there for me. have a great idea we want to share today but first I hope everyone is well and like myself you're able to get out and enjoy this day getting yourself in some fresh air some sunshine and the most high willing some good exercise now, it's been quite warm here in the Carolinas after we had them storms but nevertheless we thank the most high for it And we'll take what we can get. <laughs> whatever, whatever weather we get, we, we'll take it. See, fam, I learned how to quit being picky about what the most I let me see these days, especially as far as these days. I say I take it. <laughs> yes, indeed, I take it. Cause he's already, he's already shown me, family. I ain't, I, I ain't have to be here. I did not have to be here. But he's allowed me to see these days, and I'm grateful. Because what, what he's doing, he's still showing me how he act, his works, his amazing works in my life. Hallelujah. We do have a grand idea, and it's called, Are You Tired of the Hamster's Wheel Yet? <laughs> Are you tired of the hamster's wheel yet? And most of us know what a hamster's wheel is. I have it in my um, thumbnail. But it's a wheel that they put inside a hamster's cage and let him run around. Some for exercise, but he's going nowhere. He's standing right there in that cage, still locked up. But he's running around basically in a circle. But what we're saying today, are you tired of the hamster's wheel today? Are you tired of the hamster's wheel yet? That's how we entitle this. And we do have a word of the day, and it's called conscious. Conscious. And the meaning of conscious is painfully aware of, sensitive to, knowing and perceiving, having awareness of surroundings, sensations and thoughts, mm -mm, showing realization or recognition of something. Mm -mm -mm. 
you know, we're talking about today, family, is this sense that I've, I've been picking up lately. And I may have mentioned this in a prior recording, but it's a, I have a sense that people are tired. They're tired of the same old rat race. That's the second thought. Are you tired of the same old rat race? And what a rat race means, family, in my understanding, is out here chasing that dollar or chasing the image uh -uh, that the dollar can give you. You might as well say chasing the dollar. Making mammoth your, your, your Allahim. Mammoth or money, your Allahim. It's not that money is your Allahim, it's what the money can get you that you put before the Most High. And I've had this feeling for a minute. Like I said, I may have mentioned it before. But I have a sense that people are just tired, boss. Dog tired, boss. <laughs> and I know it's not funny because it's a, it's a real sensitive situation or subject. And very serious. Because I have a sense the whole world are in the same position. Most are. Some, of it, some people like this kind of situation because they're benefiting from it. They're evil and they're benefiting with their greed and really they're making the situation happen because of their Allahim, their, their God, Hasatan, Satan, who is the small G of this world. We're going to keep repeating that until it gets inside of our thick heads that the Most High is not running this world right now. He's running things in, in the behind the scenes. But Hasatan is has his leadership in his lead, in the leadership positions, and I was um, sharing this on our our um, family's text because he he has all these just like with this fake election coming up. Hasatan already set up who he's gonna um, put in the office. You still think your vote counts? You are highly mistaken. I'm going to be nice today. You are highly mistaken. <laughs> I'm not going to call some, nobody stupid or foolish or ignorant. But it, it's what the text says. People perish for a lack of knowledge. So we're lacking knowledge in that area. Thinking we have some kind of um, say in what's going on in these, these governments and in the, these systems that's set up by Hasatan. Don't think for one minute he's going to let anybody in his system run it that is for the most high. It's not going to happen. So all these lying preachers and teachers telling you to vote for this man, vote for that one, they're part of the system. What they call it, a mirage? You think there's cool water over there? Or as people are now, you think that things are going back to back this to the same before um that okie doke came out where shortly people were going to get that thing put in them no things are not going to get go back to being the same matter of fact they're going to get worse and we have the answer today right here when, when we're going we're on the verge of going into even worse times and folks are already tired now family dog tired already and are tired of the hamster's wheel. A lot of folks want to get off and say, I'm done, son. I had somebody tell me that the other day and it just broke my heart, family. I mean, quite honestly, I'm not going to say who it was. But they said, um, Big Bob, do you ever just get tired and, and be like, is it over yet? Am I done yet? Asking the Most High, or am I done? Pardon me. I said, no, so I don't think like that. Not, not ever. For as long as I wake up, I have a mission. I have something the Most High is calling me to. And a purpose to do what he's calling me to.